Nationally, child abuse is the leading cause of death for children under four years old. And each day in Sarasota County, there are seven new reports of child abuse or neglect. The Child Protection Center brought in a special agent from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement to help. SNN Local News 6 reporter Mia McCormick sat in on some of this training. Mia. Sexual abuse accounts for more than half of all cases of child abuse, but it's also one of the toughest crimes to prove. One in four girls and one in six boys is sexually molested before they turn 18. So how do you spot an offender and most importantly bring them to justice? That's what Special Agent Terry Thomas does best. Any questions before we get started? Why is this room at the Child Protection Center filled with people? Because seven new reports of child abuse a day weighs heavy on the minds of those working to protect Sarasota County's children. I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's worse than you know we, we ever thought it was. It often takes a team of social workers, law enforcement, and prosecutors to put a child abuser or murderer in jail. Sex crimes account for much of the abuse, and spotting a sex offender can be critical to preventing more victims. We're going to go through the offender typologies. Uh, there are seven distinct type of child molesters. The average sex offender has over 75 victims and has committed 167 sex crimes. Parents are often on guard at daycare centers or playgrounds, but ignore the biggest threat, sitting right in their own living room. Now they have another venue, uh, and that is the computer, so they can do this stuff 24-7, and, and that's, the, that's the scary part about it. Special Agent Thomas focused on offender collections. Sex offenders often have collections of objects, either for trophy or gratification. A few Northport detectives watched closely. They're still currently working the Coral Rose Fullwood murder. The six-year-old was sexually molested and beaten before she died. This type of training is like a tool detectives and prosecutors can use against sex offenders. This is an opportunity to bring together the professionals that are working on the front line to get the cutting edge education so they can do the best job possible for the kids of this community. Child advocates know educational training like this is the first line of defense against abuse. Now, this is a subject that really hits home with this community because many people remember the abductions and abuse that 11-year-old Carly Bruchia and 6-year-old Coral Rose Fullwood suffered before they were killed. Both were sexually abused, and so many of these detec detectives, they tackled this case, and they know this abuse firsthand, so it really hits home here. And Mia, let's talk about it. cases like that. Obviously, um, raise a lot of attention, and, and you know, we learn more about uh, offenders and the things to look out for. Uh, what do they know about whether this is usually taking place with a stranger or someone a child knows? Actually, the murder of a child by a stranger is very, very rare. It's only one half of one percent of all the murders in the United States. So usually, it's somebody known to a child. Wow. All right, Mia McCormick reporting for us. Thanks, Mia.